Welcome to PCR TV 2018. My name is Simon Wilson. I'm a cardiology registrar from Edinburgh in the UK. And I'm here today with Dr. Miles Behan, a consultant cardiologist also from Edinburgh, UK. So Dr. Behan, can you please tell me about new data for PFO closure in cryptogenic stroke? Yeah, certainly. So just to start, cryptogenic stroke patients tend to be quite young. Mm -hmm. So the, 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 to prevent recurrent strokes is crucially important in these young people. Yes. However, previously, all the trials have, have consistently failed to show a benefit of device closure over mm -hmm. medical therapy in these patients. However, recently, trials have been published which have challenged this, uh, that the RESPECT, REDUCE, CLOSE and PC trials overall have shown that, that the risk of recurrent events in, stroke, in cryptogenic stroke patients is low, but is, consistent, is, is significantly reduced further by device closure. Were there any complications with device closure? Bleeding was the same in both arms, so there wasn't a significant increase in bleeding. However, there, there did seem to be an increased rate of atrial fibrillation in the device arms. Okay. And were there any subsets of patients in particular that benefited? Um, interestingly, the, the patients who benefited were those with a large intraatrial uh, shunt. That There didn't seem to be an effect of uh, the presence of an atrial septal aneurysm. Okay. Um, do you think, in light of this new data, should we consider device closure for all cryptogenic stroke? I think that's a very good question. I think with this data now, I think it, uh, device closure should be considered in patients with cryptogenic stroke. However, I think that we need to move to an era where we have a heart and brain team. Mm -hmm. With the, you know, the, the, the very successful heart team for TAVI, I think we now need a heart and brain team which will have a, a, a neurologist and a cardiologist working together just to exclude other causes of stroke to make sure that we're getting the right patients. Sometimes a haematologist may need to be involved as well. Is that something you put in place in Edinburgh? Well, I think that's something that we're, we're going to put in place because I think our practice is going to change mm -hmm. and we're going to, to see a, a, a lot more patients being considered for this therapy. Do you see in Edinburgh that numbers of device closure are going to go up? I, I would have thought that it will in light of this data because these are a very important group of patients that we want to protect from, from, you know, from, from further events. Okay. Well, thanks, Dr. Behan, for summarising that. And that's uh, EuroPCR 2018 for today.